Hey guys, welcome back to By The Rose. This week we're making a skillet beef pot pie. You're gonna to wanna to start out by rolling out room temperature dough. You can make this yourself, or you can do like I did and I just went to Walmart and got the great value version. I have Jacob rolling it out because I'm not good at this and I really like being able to cook with him and it was couples night, so he's rolling it out and you just wanna make sure that you roll out both pieces of dough like wide enough to fit the bottom of your pan comfortably and you're going to want to start making your filling by browning one pound of ground beef you preferably lean ground beef but you are going to drain off the fat at the end and to this i add onion powder garlic powder and here's where i made the mistake of adding in the tony seasoning that i'm going to show you guys right here it's spice and herb and i thought it was no salt added but it was salty and my goodness, it gave me the worst headache and I couldn't eat it <laughs> that much of it. So that's the one fail I will say that was the outcome of this recipe. But if you want to omit like the salt, like I should have, just add a tablespoon of Italian herb seasoning. And I'm also gonna add in some rosemary and thyme. If you don't wanna add that, you can omit it. But just add in the Italian herb seasoning and then add the salt like after it's done. If it needs salt, then add it because otherwise you're gonna end up with a mouthful of just pure sodium. After draining off the beef, I add in like one bag of frozen mixed vegetables um, to the pan and just start like kind of steaming it a little bit in the pan and I add a tablespoon of unsalted butter and just try to get it like soft because you don't want the liquid from the veggies to make your whole thing mushy. And here you're gonna see me grabbing, I think I was grabbing like my pan out the oven because I was doing something. But you're going to just stir and mix up the veggies. To that I added a can of diced potatoes I don't know why I did that I just I can't remember if traditional pot pie oh my gosh I add that seasoning that seasoning that was that was where the mistake happened let me be honest that's where the mistake happened but the potatoes I briefly remember some people were like their pot pies have potatoes and I wasn't sure so I was like eh. I don't know I didn't make a difference in the end to me and then to this I add a packet of onion seasoning mix and that's pr that's also why I say omit the salt because some of the elements that I'm adding to this is kind of salty and then cream of mushroom soup one can of it and then you're gonna see me add in about like a fourth a cup to a half a cup of milk um at the time we were out of milk so I had to substitute with half and half but yeah I think it's just a fourth a cup of the like dairy of choice and then I add back in the beef and again, this is kind of different from my normal videos. It's just trying to be more honest about some of the flops and mistakes I make in my videos that I might not get to either put in correctly or add in the description bar where people don't see it. Then we added a little bit of cheese because Jacob likes cheese. And we had some cheese that was about to go bad and he was like, just add it in. And then I give it a good stir and you can add the filling once you turn off the stove to the pot pie like bottom. As you see here. Now you can just ladle or dump it in. I think I dirtied up an extra spoon for nothing here. Like just slip the pot. You're gonna see me do it in a second. And on your top crust, like you see Jacob here rolling out, you're gonna wanna cut some slits so your pot pie has like room for the air and like the little spew spews, I don't know if they're called to breathe. <laughs> um, I just like doing a little X, I was trying to explain to Jacob how I wanted it and then I added in a few extra slits at the end because I felt like for the size of the pot pie, like maybe like six or seven slits was, it might have been overkill but I didn't have any of like the weird like Frankenstein looking crust at the end. I 
and this last step you're going to see me do is kind of optional but take one egg add some water to it and make a little egg wash we didn't have one of those little like pastry brushes i realized my mistake um after doing this and i just was to the egg in the water and brushed it on top but honestly i don't feel like it made that much of a difference Um, yeah, I'm just like spooning the egg with the fork, like not my best, not my best method, but I got it on there and I didn't have like any weird eggy like portion of the crust like where there's just like egg on top. So I think I did a good job, but to me it didn't make much of a difference and Jacob didn't see much of a difference either. And then here's the end result. Like I said, the Popeye, if you follow like the tidbits I gave in the video, it won't be as salty. This one was kind of salty and I ended up making like a sweet chili like mayo sauce to drizzle on top and eat it kind of like a burger. But yeah, let me know how you like this and uh, tune in for the next video. I hope you guys like the voiceovers. I'm trying to get better at them. Thank you guys so much.